Hi friends. We have some fun stuff for you. We're going to start with our community helper book. And this is a book that you can make. On the top it says, what do you want to be when you grow up? So I wrote on mine, a teacher, because I always wanted to be a teacher when I grew up and I am now. So that was something that I always wanted to do. And then in your book, it has other career things that you could want to be. I am a letter carrier. That's a mailman. I am a firefighter. There's a firefighter in your book. I am a police officer. I am a teacher. I am a crossing guard. Remember we talked about that's a person that helps us cross the street. And I am a doctor. So get your crayons out and go ahead and make your book. Send us pictures of you making your book so we can see what yours looks like. Okay. I think Miss Trista has a friend here. We are doing a video, or video. We're doing a paper of fingerprinting. So to help us with that today, I have my friend Susie. Susie's here. She is a police officer. Hi, friends. So, Susie, can you explain how fingerprinting works? We fingerprint people so that way we catch the right person if they do something bad. That's really good to know, Susie. So, what is our fingerprint? This is what a fingerprint looks like, and it has all the lines that are in your finger. And if a police if a police officer has to solve a crime or they need to investigate, they can look at your fingerprint. Or if you ever would get lost, they a police officer can look at your fingerprint to help find you. So we're gonna make our fingerprint on here, on the paper, and then we're gonna have Susie help us investigate it to see what it looks like. So I already did a couple fingerprints on mine, but I'm gonna show you. You can use a little bit of paint and put it on your finger. And then you're gonna go ahead and you can do your right hand and your left hand. So first I'll do my left hand and then my right hand and then Susie's going to look at our fingerprint and see if she can see what it looks like. You ready, Susie? I'm ready. Okay. So we're going to get our magnifying glass. Can you look through there, Susie? Yeah. Hmm. No one else's fingerprints look like that. Oh, I think everyone's fingerprints are different. That's right. Everyone has different fingerprints. So do your fingerprints. And if you don't have a magnifying glass, that's okay. You can still look at the detail of your fingerprint. All right, Susie, thanks for helping us out with that. It was good to see you. Bye, friends. Bye, Susie. Send us a picture of your fingerprint if you do them so that we can see what yours look like. And I did mine already. This one I did with paint so that you could actually see it better. This one I did by coloring my finger with a marker, which it works. It's just not super pigmented like the paint. Next we have for you learning game 124 and it's Getting simple things and looking at the different sizes. We did this before with lids. So today, Miss Jeannie helped us out and gave us some measuring cups and spoons. And spoons. So I'm gonna pull the camera down here so you can see. Our first measuring cup is a one cup measuring cup. Our second measuring cup is half cup. Then we have a third cup and a fourth cup. So if I mix all the cups up, I'm going to ask Miss Trista, which one would be the biggest cup? Hmm. I 
think this one. Miss Trist is right. This cup is bigger than all the other cups. Which one would be the smallest cup? Yeah, it's the red one. So what cups do you think would be in between the biggest and the smallest? Our half cup and then our third cup. So now we have some other things to show you that are different sizes that would be in the kitchen. These are all of our different measuring spoons that we have. They're all hooked together on a ring. We have the one eighth of a teaspoon, one fourth of a teaspoon, one half of a teaspoon, a teaspoon, half of a tablespoon, and a tablespoon. So out of all of these, you can clearly tell which one is the biggest. A tablespoon is bigger than a teaspoon. And the smallest is one eighth of a teaspoon. Okay, that's learning game 124. Now we're gonna do learning game 147. Oh, I'm sorry, 146. If you have any grocery ads around your house, go ahead and grab them. And this is a fun way for your child to practice language and learn new things and words and literacy. So what is this a picture of, friends? Yes, it's a picture of great. Let me see what else I have in here. While Miss Becky finds hers, what is this a picture of? That's right, these are potatoes. Can we count how many there are? One, two, three. There's three potatoes. What else do I have in here? Let's see. What's this a picture of? actually a picture of lettuce and what food group friends is lettuce in yes it's a vegetable how many packages of lettuce are in my ad let's count together one two want to do one more Miss Trista? i will do one more does anybody know what this is a picture of it's a picture of our little mandarin orange cups that we get. And it's a four pack. That's why it has this big yellow number four on it. So there's four little cups in this one pack. So up next, we have a recipe for a healthy snack we're gonna make. So we will see you in the kitchen and share that with you soon. Hi, friends. Hi, friends. We're back and we have guest stars. Yeah. Hi, friends. Hi, friends. <laughs> we're all working together today. We're all going to work together today on a recipe. I'm going to show you what we're using. And then Miss Sam and Miss Samantha are going to put it in the bowl. And Miss Trista's going to mix it up. So you need one bag of oyster crackers. And then you need a third cup of ranch seasoning. And then a third cup of dill. I'm going to put this in for Miss Trista to mix up. Okay. And one third cup of oil. We got our crackers in our bowl. Yeah. Oil. Crackers are in the bowl. Mixing it all up. We're okay, Miss Trista. Okay, and we have it in a mixing. On a mixing cup, a measuring cup, and I'm just whisking it with a whisk just to get it all. Yeah, and then you're just gonna pour it over your crackers, which I'll let Miss Sam do that. All right, here's our crackers. I'm dump it in the bowl. All right, I'm gonna stir it up so it's nice and mixed. Thank you. 
smells so good, guys. We're all working together today. Teamwork. Teamwork. And Miss Becky it look got yummy? us. Yeah. Miss Becky got us all some bowls to try it. Yep, we're gonna try our crackers and see what they taste like. Thank you, Miss Krista. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna try our crackers. And here's a spoon to get them out with. Miss Becky. Thank you, Miss Sam. Samantha. Okay, I have my crackers. My crackers, getting Miss Sam's now. I have my crackers. Okay, are we ready to try them? Yep. Ready, Miss Trisha? The in the sink. Okay, let's try our crackers. Really good. Mm, what do you so guys good. think? Yummy. Those are yeah. good. Yeah, they're really good. So try these at home. It's a good snack. It tastes good and it's healthy. Yeah. And now friends, if you remember a couple days ago, all of our classrooms made jello. So we're gonna show it to you. Yeah, remember when we made our jello? We're gonna get ours out too. Yeah. There. Everyone's getting their jello out. And we're going to see what it looks like now. Remember when we put it in our bowl, it was a liquid. And we'll see what it looks like. Whoa. And we have bowls to also try it. We're gonna get it out. See what it looks, there it is. We're gonna taste it. Remember, we made strawberry jello. Sliding all around, guys. <laughs> okay, you ready? Turned out really good. Remember, we mm. said you can put fruit in it. That's very good, guys. It would taste really good with fruit in it. Yeah. Very yummy. Okay, friends, that's all we have for this video. Me and Miss Trista, we're going to see you outside and get up and moving. Bye, friends. Bye, friends. And we'll see you guys.